Bonnie from the Monroe Ben Franklin Crafts and I'm going to be showing you in this segment the joys of using Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a water-based product which is a sealer and a glue in one and it's used very versatilely. It comes in several st different um, styles. This one that I like to work with is the satin. It also comes in matte and in gloss and then there's also ones that are waterproof, there's glitter Mod Podge, there's Mod Podge for paper. It's endless what the, there is for product. It's very versatile. You can use it on just about anything you can think of. Um, wood, glass, metal, paper mache, um, paper to paper. It, uh, it just about does it all. Here are some examples of what you can do with your Mod Podge. Um, as you see, I've done this jewelry box. Um, there's this little box here, uh, little drawers. Um, there's this block here that's done, and I've used the Mod Podge to tear the paper and to seal the um, acrylic paint also. This box also was done with Mod Podge to adhere the paper and to seal it on top. It's a very versatile product. Today we're going to be doing this frame as our project. We'll be mod podging the paper on and I'll be showing you those steps as we go along. What I've done is I've cut my paper to size, all ready to go. Um, in order to get the center cut out, I measured in from the edge on all four sides and then I just used my paper cutter to cut out that center. To start with the Mod Podge, you always want to Mod Podge the back of your paper first. So I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge on the back of my paper. That starts conditioning the paper and getting it ready so that it won't wrinkle so much when I put it on my product. And then I'm going to put my Mod Podge on my frame. Just a nice even coat. It doesn't have to be real heavy, but you want enough that it's going to stick when you lay your paper on there. Once you get it on your frame and on your paper, now it's time to marry those two together and put it on to your frame. You're going to smooth it down. I like to work with a piece of paper towel or a rag. It just seems to not rough up the paper as bad as using just my fingers. So there's one half of it ready to go. Wasn't that quick and easy? Now we'll put the other half on. Again, I'm going to back, uh, wet the back of the paper with the Mod Podge. It is water-based, so you don't really have to worry about your hands. They, they will wash off. And marry the two together. Press it down so it gets sealed on there. You want to make sure it's good and tight on the board. And again, I'm going to just rub it off a little with my paper towel here and as you can see the first step is very easy there we have a paper covered frame just by using the Mod Podge as the glue now I'm going to actually seal the top of the paper with the Mod Podge also after you give it a just a, it only takes a couple of seconds to kind of set up you want to give it a little bit of time to start drying underneath before you seal it but once you're there, then you're just gonna take your Mod Podge and you're just gonna do a nice even coat over the top. That's going to seal that paper so that it's not going to just fade and get torn up. It will dry clear, so you don't really have to worry about your brush strokes. Those will disappear as the Mod Podge dries. So as you see, I'm just covering up the whole paper with that Mod Podge. And that is really it. It is done. So I hope that in um, showing you this, you'll see that Mod Podge is a very basic, easy to use product, something that you would be able to, anyone would be able to do. And the, the results are always fantastic.